everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for Power Platform for Newbies. So if you're joining us, this is just a short tutorial video on how to um, learn some new basic skills related to the Power Platform. So I am the newbie. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have my colleague Andre here who's joining me, who is my expert who will be teaching me step by step. Um, and today's related to the Power Apps. So Andre, how's it going? Hi, Ray. I'm good. Thank you. And you? How are you? Doing good, thanks. So last time you taught me how to create an app, we made it an expense reimbursement app, and then you also taught um, how to add a screen to view my own reimbursements after I submitted them for approval. So um, because I saved my app, I've got it here and ready to go, um, and we're moving forward from here. So what's the next step? Yeah, so the next step is we are going to implement a way to edit items and to remove items, delete items. So this is going to be easy. You're going to see. Perfect. Okay, so first thing I think we should do is we should insert a back uh, button in the in in the screen we did in the last video. So if you go to the my reimbursements, view my reimbursements. Oh, hang on. So, oh, Alt click. Yeah. yeah. So this is the screen that needs a back button. So please go to screen two. You can navigate it in the left menu. Just select the back arrow. Yep. Control C. And then go to the screen three. And control V. Good. So Perfect. yep, it, it works. Okay. So now we we are going to need to insert a new screen, which will be our detail screen, because we have uh, the, the first screen we created. It was like the, the form one. It was to create new items. We're going to use that that same form to edit items, but to visualize them, we're, we're going to need a, a new screen. So let's insert a new screen in the top left. You taught me I can duplicate, correct? Uh, I think it's better to du duplicate. So this way we keep the title, we keep the, the header, we keep the, okay. the, the back arrow, so let's duplicate. Good idea. Okay. So I'm going to rename it to screen four. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so the the optimal scenario would be if we named uh, name the screens uh, in terms of what they really mean, like detail screen, view screen, uh, new screen, home screen and the, even the bottoms. But just to, to make things uh, quicker here and simpler, we, we're going to keep using screen one, two, three, four. I think it's uh, it's it's faster. OK. OK. OK, so we're going to delete this gallery now because if you delete this one, it's not going to impact the other one, so you can remove it. Delete. Yep. And now we're going to insert a form. So if you go up there in forms, Let's insert a display form. Let's position it. How how should you want it? Yep. OK, and now let's connect to our data source. So in the right, you can see none. Let's change it to the expense reimbursement, the list, SharePoint list. Awesome, OK. But right now it's not connected to any item. I mean, it's connected to the list, but it's, it doesn't know which item it's going to display. And how would we select the item? It's it's related to the gallery one. So if you go back the the previous screen, so please hit the back arrow. Oops, probably it's not oh, going to work because you, you did not came from any screen. So please go to screen three in the left menu. So this is the gallery one. We are going to display there what is selected in gallery one. So this there's a way we can do this. So let's go back to screen four. Select the form, please. The, the, the whole form. Yeah. OK, so instead of data source in the top left, let's change the property there. Oh, we, here. OK, yeah, uh -huh. we want to select the item property. Here, uh huh. this one. So in the formula bar, now we're going to insert gallery one, which is the gallery we want to relate. Dot gallery one. 
yeah, dot selected. Yeah, this one. So what you select in gallery one, it's going to display here. So and we need to create a navigate button from the gallery one to this screen. So please go back to screen three. Click the gallery. And now let's change the items property in the top left. This is what we changed in, in the last video. But now we are going to select the on select. So that. The items, okay. uh -huh. the on select means when you click one item, what it's going to do right now, it's, it's doing nothing, but we're going to change this false to navigate screen four. Navigate. Do I need to put a parenthesis or just type screen four? You, you, you always need to put a parenthesis like navigate is the command and then this is the, the parameters you use. You, you, you say to the, the, the command. OK, now okay. this should work. So if we click the holding alt, you click any value here, you should go there. And okay. so my amateur Orlando, so please hit back. And the first one, nice manage. So yep, it's working. So right now we are going to, we can view our, our items. So now we're going to insert a way to edit them. So please go to the, the, the view screen. So click any item or go to screen four. Yep. And now we're going to insert a new icon. So if in the top bar you can see icons, let's insert a pencil, this edit one. Yeah, just put it uh, any way you want. Yeah, it can be. I mean, if the if the item is, is longer, it's going to uh, overlap here. Probably you should keep it down at the bottom. Oh, when you, yeah. OK. Uh -huh. Good idea. Yeah. So now we are going to. Th this icon, what is going to do? We're going to say that we're going to edit form one and then navigate to form one. So instead of false, let's put. Edit form. which is form one, which is the same form we use to insert new items. We're going to use for editing them as well. So close parentheses, please. Now semicolon to separate the commands and now navigate. To screen two, which is the. The screen that has the form one. Screen two. Close parentheses. Yep, there we go. So now we just need to to change one little thing in the form one. So if you click the the, the pencil, you should you should go there, holding out. But right now it's not it's not showing your items here because you need to, to change the, the the item value from from this form. So please click the form. Uh, trying you to get can the select whole form. You can select in the left menu. I think it's easier. So if you click the, the form one, you scroll up. Yep. Form one, there we go. So now let's change the data source uh, property in the top left. Top, oh, top left, okay. Yeah. To the item property. And now we are going to include here gallery one dot selected. The same value that we we did for the other. The other gallery screen. one dot, sorry, I didn't hear you. Dot selected. Selected. There okay. we go. Uh huh. Awesome. And now, so you can edit right there. So you, you can test it. So if you if you hit play, and just hit play in the in the top right. Oh. Play. So if you want so to, you yeah. swap these. That. And put gas mileage. Now submit. Everything else I'm okay with, I can submit. Yeah. Oh, okay. You saw. Don't change. Yeah. And now to, to finalize our video today, let's insert a remove button. Okay. So let's go back to our Power App Studio. If you scroll up, you will see the, the X. Yep. Yep. Uh, in this screen here, the detail screen, the screen four, let's insert a new icon in the 
middle. Insert uh, icons. Icon. OK. Yeah. Let's insert the, the trash bin. Let's see if we find it. Trash. trash. Uh -huh. Let's let's put it in the bottom, but centralized. Yeah. Okay. And now the command for this uh, trash bin should be remove. And now open parenthesis. Gallery one. Dot selected. Close parenthesis. Uh, actually, I think we need to to say what's the data source and then what's the item. So before the gallery one dot selected, let's. Yeah, ins inside the remove this one exactly where you are. Let's insert here the the list name, which is expense reimbursement. Let's click it. I think it's going to facilitate for you. Yep. Now comma. Yep. Awesome. This is it. So now it's a good practice to to display a pop up so the user has to confirm that they really want to 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 remove it. Uh, oh, you, I don't think it should be in there twice, right? Yeah, yeah only once. Yeah. So we can do it in the in the next uh, video, so we don't make this uh, longer. But you can test it if you click the remove. Ah, I mean, after the remove, we should go back to the to the screen three. So. Oh, okay. So we still need to navigate yeah. back or put the back. Yeah, semicolon, semicolon. Put yeah back, and then open and close parentheses. Okay, so now let's go to the to the screen one and let's test the whole the whole path. Okay, now All like right. Play. View my reimbursements. You can select which one you want to delete. And now delete it. There. Oh, we awesome. We can check in SharePoint if it's deleted there as well. Instead of four registers, you should have three now. I mean, the, the yep. Yeah, we, just edited. Yep. Yeah, and we had three previously because you didn't refresh when we had four. You had it already, yep. Open, but yep, it's working. Yeah. Awesome. That was super easy. Yeah, and it's really helpful as well, right? Useful. Yes. All right. Well, thank you so much to everyone for joining us for our power platform for newbies and join us next time. <laughs>